Good morning. It has been so long since I vlogged and I am so rusty at it. So bear with me because I'm trying to get better at it. Um, and I thought I would do a day in my life. There's never a good time to vlog and I just need to rip off the band-aid and get started with it again because I miss it so much. I miss talking to you so much and I thought I would ease back into it with a day in my life. Um, this morning I kept snoozing my alarm from 6.30 a.m. until 8 a.m. and I got up at 8. All I did was brush my teeth, wash my face, put on moisturizer, did a little fresh makeup. I haven't had coffee yet and I don't know how I'm functioning. I'm probably not. <laughs> Do you hear the birds? I only have one window open right now and I swear there are like a million birds on this block. There are, like there's no other block that has all these chirping birds, but this block like, oh, you'd think I'd wake up with all these chirping birds, but no. Um, it's fine though, there's worse problems to have than chirping birds outside your window. <laughs> anyway, it's 8.35, I have to head out of the house right now and I haven't had coffee yet, which explains why the chirping birds are irritating me and everything is irritating me. I'm trying my best to not look at the viewfinder because it's going to irritate me. Um, but anyway, I am gonna get a coffee at Cafe Kids soon because I haven't been there yet and it's a very, very popular coffee spot in Europe and that's why I haven't been there because it's just like one of those super Instagram famous cafes. I'm not sure if it's as popular in New York, but I'm assuming it is because it's in a good spot in the West Village, but I'm in mad need of a cold brew. I'm going to get a cold brew and then go to my The Row internship. I haven't, see this is how long it's been since I vlogged. I got this internship like end of May I started and I haven't been able to update you about it yet. Um, yeah, it's one of my dream brand internships. And I interviewed and got this internship again in PR. This is a PR and marketing role and I love it so far. I'm so happy to be going there and learning from the best and it's just, it's a dream brand for me. So I'm just stoked to be there and learn and do anything and be on the inside. <laughs> um, anyway, I need my coffee. We're gonna head out. I'll show you my outfit. I'm feeling like country club dad vibes, which I have, I've been into lately. See, you look outside and you don't see any birds, but you hear them. I just saw a bird. Did you see that? <laughs> Last time I vlogged, the trees were all winter trees and they were dead. And now they're all beautiful and green. So there you go, a little ambiance. But here is Monday's Luke. We have on a white bodysuit that I'm so obsessed with. It's the softest thing ever from Zara. I love it so much. I want to get it in black as well. Um, these pants that I've had tailored also from Zara. I love these. They're so, so soft and so comfortable. I thought about doing a belt, but I changed my mind. <laughs> I got a little lazy. And I have on my favorite shoes at the moment. These are the Wales Bonner Adidas collab sneakers. I feel like I'm wearing like slippers. They're so, so comfortable and they actually go with a lot of things, but they do make the outfit more sporty than usual for me, but I like it. And then I have on this super cute orange sweater over my shoulders. This has been the go-to look for me because it adds some color. I'm usually cold at some point throughout the day, so then I can just put it on and it'll still go with the outfit, but I like it like this since it adds a pop of color. It's just like a really easy styling thing to do to just toss over a colored sweater over your monochrome look and you kind of have an intentional intentional color pop. Ah! It is now 8:40. I am going to go right now catch the subway and get get some cold brew. <laughs> Whenever I get off the train and I have no idea what the conductor said, I think about Kane one time when he's like, what did, what did he say? Is he just like blurting his address? <laughs> and it cracks me up. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that. I got super uncomfortable because everyone was looking at me and I'm trying to not be scared to do this in public. So we're trying new things today. New coffee shop, talking to a camera. Okay, whenever I make eye contact with someone, I'm like, nope, putting it away. See you later, but yay. It's such a sunny day, so pretty out. We love today.
I'm not late and I'm caffeinated. I just got back home. The minute I got in through the door, I washed my hands, of course, and now I'm having having a peach. This is like a firm peach though. There's a, there's different types of peaches and I actually really like these. I always eat fruit like the minute I get home if I have it, just because I'm like so parched. <laughs> I need something to hold me over. I'm probably gonna snack on some bread too, but I have to go get some groceries. I'm running very, very, very low on food i only kind of have like protein items but i have nothing to eat that with so i think i need to go to the grocery store i'm pretty sure my last vlog was from march because that's when kane was here and since then i got bangs which i honestly hate i immediately regretted it it was so annoying and difficult to deal with and i still am annoyed with them because i just feel like it's not it's not fun for my face and i can't I can't style it. In the March vlog, I mentioned wanting to get bangs and then I impulsively acted on it in April and I regretted it so bad and I'm still like, oh, just grow out. It grew out really, really fast though. I finished my spring semester of school. I'm currently in two summer classes, but one of them is an internship class, which I have to take while I intern. And it's weird because I still get homework for that class and I still have to attend that class. So it does eat at my time a little bit. It's gonna be a pretty chill summer. I don't have any plans. I have a wedding. My Childhood best friend is getting married, so I'm flying back to Vancouver in July for a week. And then Kane's gonna move back in August, and I feel like I'll have like my my couple life back, you know, like my boyfriend. <laughs> I will also be doing this row internship until August. So that's my that's my plan for now. Um I just plan to hustle this summer, do my summer courses, and then do my summer internship, and then I still have the same um, I guess apprenticeship, internship from when I first moved to New York. And that's awesome. I do that twice a week. Maybe when Kane comes back, we can drive down to the Hamptons because that would be really nice. I love the beach. And that is the closest beach to my knowledge that I feel like we can just drive to. Anyway, I'm gonna finish eating this. I have just been snacking on some sourdough, delaying my Trader Joe's trip for no reason. I don't know why. I mean, I'll snack on sourdough any time of the day, but I just really am delaying this Trader Joe's trip. I don't know. I usually am. You guys know I'm so excited to go, but I think because I'm like hungry and I'm tired and I, and I kind of just want like a quick fix, but I do want to quickly show you some amazing cookware that our place sent over. They actually sent this over a while ago. I've used most of the items, but since I haven't vlogged in so long, I haven't shared it with you and I love these things. Oh, I'm gonna show you. I laid it out so it's cute. Okay, how pretty is this? This looks amazing in the kitchen. It looks so cute, way cuter than my old pan and pot. Um, they sent over these plates. This is a little scrub. I've actually been using this because I have a couple of them and they're really good. They're like sustainable little sponges. This is the collab with Selena Gomez and she came out with two different colors. This really vibrant, pink as well as like a cobalt blue. I've wanted a nice cutting board since I've been living on my own and this is so beautiful. It's made from black walnut wood and it has a little spot here where it just like prevents the juice and the liquid from anything like watermelon or fruit or I don't know, whenever you cut like tomatoes. It prevents it from going on your counter, which is my main problem with my own cutting board. And this is designed for you to be able to place it like this and just let it dry like that, which is such a space saving hack. Then they sent over some beautiful knives. I have literally been using this every single day since I got it. I don't know what I was doing without this knife, but I'm obsessed. It cuts fruit and vegetables and literally everything so well. And then we have a bread knife. I can't do this with one hand, but we have a nice little serrated knife and then a regular knife knife. This is what I was talking about. So it came in this color as well as this pink and it's such a cute little collab. Um, I'm gonna cook using this today. I've used it before, loved it. And this is so smart. Like why didn't anyone think of this before? I mean, that's why our place exists because they really just solved the problem. And it's just like big enough that things don't fly out. And then we have the perfect pot. So this is the pot. You get a steamer and it has this, um, 
like, I don't know what this is called, but you put it in there so you can steam. They also sent over some glasses. So we have a full kit and this is all gonna be so cute. So this is everything that Our Place kindly sent over. Thank you, Our Place. This is not sponsored, but I was so happy to accept these gifts because I love everything. I have a link down below. Be sure to check it out. This Selena Gomez collab is only available for a limited time. So if you want this color or the beautiful cobalt color, just check out the link below. Buy it for yourself, buy it for your friends, buy it for your parents, buy it for anyone. It's so cute and it would make such an amazing gift. Like any of these items would be such a good gift. I would be stoked if I got these knives. Like I've waited my whole life for knives like this. <laughs> this is everything I got. My arm is falling <laughs> from the quick little walk, but let's just start here with the frozen things. I got some raspberries, they're my favorite fruit. Got some frozen mango chunks. I actually like these way more than the organic kind because they taste so much better. And I like these as a snack. They are the best mangoes I've ever had. So we got some frozen fruit and then I had to get some vegetables. They honestly didn't have like any fresh vegetables. So I got some frozen asparagus. I do prefer frozen asparagus because I feel like they just keep a lot longer and these are good and easy to just steam. And I have salmon, so I thought I would eat this with salmon at some point this week. Then we got some broccoli. These are just so easy to steam and cook. Um, and then this is, this is so good. I'm like obsessed with this. This is this like carbonated white tea beverage. I love sparkling water and this is the best sparkling water ever. I think there's, yeah, there's only like 10 calories. Um, I don't drink this for like juice because it's not juice, it's sparkling water and it's so good. Um, and then this is the only like real produce I got. Um, got some arugula, this was essential. We got some baby tomatoes. I wanna make like a chickpea salad, so I needed some kind of tomato for that. And then I don't like mushrooms, but I'm trying to increase my protein intake because I find it's difficult for me to get protein. So I just got some mushrooms. This is what they had, so I got it. And then got a cuke, love a cuke, we love that. And then I got some random things. I've never had this, but it caught my eye. We got this tomato basil hummus. I actually stay away from flavored hummus. It's not my favorite thing. I prefer just like basic hummus. Take a risk and get some tomato basil hummus. We'll see how that goes. I'll let you know if it's any good. And then I got some salsa, but no chips. So I think I might just like add this to whatever I, I eat. I love salsa. I can just like eat it from the bowl, but that's that. And then I had no peanut butter and this is an essential for me so i just got a no salt peanut butter obsessed my favorite thing ever and then i got one of these macro bars these are my favorite um protein bars to just have in my purse i need one of these in my purse at all times sometimes i don't have time to go for lunch or i don't go until way later in the day and like if i haven't had breakfast i'll die so i need to eat one of these and then this is what killed my arm on the walk here this is a massive tub of Greek yogurt. I love the 0% Greek yogurt. So good. Just like an essential for smoothies and everything else, like bowls and I don't know. I just love yogurt. And then I got two of the little peach nectarine things. I told you earlier, when I come home, I just love to have some fruit. So that's going to be what I'll eat. And then we got some potatoes for tonight. I have never cooked these before, but they are so cute. They're the teeny tiny potatoes i'm obsessed they're so cute and we got some walnuts and then i got roasted unsalted cashews this is my snack section so i got the yogurt pretzels these are so good like there is nothing healthy about this and i don't do it for health reasons this is fully a snack that i love very very much my snack before i went in was chili spice mangoes but they didn't have any so i got got some of this i love this and then i got this macaroni and cheddar cheese i've never had this before i usually prefer 
like the little white shells, but they didn't have any. And sometimes I just, I'm like a five-year-old. I literally crave mac and cheese like so bad. And it's the only thing I want. And I'm like, if I don't have it, I, I'm just like, I'm going to cry. So I got this mac and cheese, not to, not to be dramatic. And then we got some little rice cakes. These are just my go-to little snack. I like to have it with cream cheese and I have some cream cheese right now. So that is everything I got. And it feels so good to have a fridge and cabinets full of food. It's definitely a huge blessing that I think so many people take for granted. I never take it for granted. And seeing how much food prices have gone up, it's just like crazy. And I wish any family or anyone who's like, just like that's a stress in their life. I wish them all the best. And I am just so excited to cook some dinner now. But yeah, let's make some dinner before my forehead gets it's shinier. Oh, you can see a reflection in it. <laughs> assignment due on Wednesday. I thought I just had a midterm, but I'm looking that I have an assignment due on the 14th as well. So that's kind of annoying. I'm just going to take a look at what I need to do. It's nine o'clock right now. I know I'm not going to do the assignment, but I like to prime and just kind of like look over it, see what I need to get done. That way it's less intimidating for me when I need to sit down and do the work. I'm just going to prepare a little bit and eat my dinner. This is what I'm having for dinner. I decided to actually bake the chicken and then I roasted these potatoes in the pan and I did olive oil, and butter, and thyme. It's so good, I already had a potato. <laughs> and then I'm also having the sparkling tea, very refreshing. And then this is tonight's dinner. I am so excited to eat you. Mm -hmm. 